It's another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen, and today I'm gonna make a simple appetizer. It's a caprese fresh mozzarella and prosciutto with some basil. So what we're gonna do is just put it all together and then make it look beautiful on our plate with our cute little toothpicks here, bamboo. <laughs> Check out this cute little ornament that I got from the Christmas shop in Mount Juliet. I took my kids there to get their Christmas photos with Santa done. They do an amazing job, by the way. And they'll customize these. <laughs> it's awesome. I bought it. They didn't give it to me. I bought it. But I just thought it was super cute. So if you're in the area, go check out that place. Their, their Santa house, H-A-U-S, is really cute. So where am I going to hang this? How about right? Oh, that's in front of stuff. I'm going to have to move stuff. Here, we'll set it here for now. And then I'll hang it later. <laughs> So I have my serving platter, my toothpicks, some basil, and then I have these little grape tomatoes that are already washed, some fresh mozzarella. Then I have a couple ounces, this is boar's head prosciutto, salt and pepper, and that's all that I need. Now, the nice thing about this recipe is if you've got somebody that doesn't like prosciutto or that's vegetarian, you just make some that don't have it. That's the only difference between the two. What I wanna do is just get right into assembling and then I'll chop up my basil. What I need is my three main ingredients and a toothpick. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put on the tomato. Then I'm going to take a slice of prosciutto and this is the slices that I have so they're little so that you can kind of gauge what size you wanna look for. And I'm going to basically ribbon it like so. So it'll look like this from the side. Do you want me to do it from the side? Hold on. Let me undo it and then um, do it again. So it's just ribboning like this, okay? And I'm going to just put it right through the middle on the toothpick and then a piece of mozzarella. And then I'm gonna put it down on the plate. And you know what I just realized I didn't put out and this is one of the, the key ingredients here is my olive oil. So I'll put this all together and then I'll get it out. So I am gonna go ahead and do all of these. And I've got, I think this was, 10 ounces, a 10 ounce pack of tomatoes, and it was like eight ounces of the mozzarella. It's never the same, and, and I see a lot of recipes that call for like 20 of this or 10 of that. I did, just get a package, <laughs> get a package. The prosciutto, um, two to four ounces will probably be enough if you're using the prosciutto. Um, less, obviously, if you have people that are vegetarian and not going to be joining you for that. So just make as many as you can that you think you need with the size packages that are available to you because they're always different at the store. Different brands have different sizes. Yeah, so just don't stress about the quantity. Oh, I can't find an eight ounce package of, don't worry about it. Just get what's available. If you think you need to get to, it's fine. I'm sure you'll eat it, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish these up and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, these are all done. I have two that don't have prosciutto on it only because I ran out of prosciutto, but my little girls will appreciate that. So I'm just gonna take my basil and chop it up. I don't want really big pieces. This is more of a fine garnish this time. When I make caprese salad as a salad, I tend to leave large chunks or even leave it whole and layer things, but this I wanna sprinkle on it. So there's about eh, two, two and a half tablespoons worth. You put on as much as you like. We happen to like it here, but I'm not the only one eating it, so <laughs> trying to accommodate multiple tastes. So that's done, and now I'm gonna take my olive oil, and I just want to drizzle a little, which is why I'm using this teeny tiny little spoon, so that I can carefully drizzle it on basically everything, the cheese, the tomatoes, the prosciutto, everything gets a little bit of olive oil. And this is not EVOO, it's just olive oil. Extra virgin is more processed and I find that sometimes it can be a little more bitter in my opinion. So I tend to use just regular olive oil, okay? Especially if I'm making mayonnaise because that will definitely go bitter. I always use just regular. So I'm gonna take and just sprinkle a little salt the reason we do the, the olive oil first is so that the salt can stick a little better. Salt will really bring out flavor in the tomatoes. And this mozzarella is delicious and smooth and fresh, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it by itself. So now I'm gonna take pepper. I'm only gonna put pepper on half of it because not everybody likes pepper. So I'm just gonna crack pepper on this side. 
I'm gonna leave this side alone. And I staggered my skewers so that they would be easier to grab, but hopefully people grab from the ends and then work their way in, but you never know. So there's my pepper on one side. I'm gonna put basil all over all of it. And as you can see, this process goes very quickly. It's almost done already, okay? So just sprinkle it everywhere that you can and then we are done. Beautiful appetizer, quick, easy. You can make it ahead, put it in the refrigerator, cover it with some plastic wrap or whatever it is if you have a container to put it in. However you wanna go about making it ahead to make your life easier, do that. Thanks for joining me here today for another kitchen adventure. I hope that your holiday celebrations, parties, whatever it is that you're making this for is fabulous. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one bowl.